Hello, good morning, good afternoon, good day, how are you today? I hope you're all feeling well today. And as usual, before we start our lesson today, don't forget to take your breakfast, lunch, or dinner. So today we are going to enter new topic, amazing animals. Okay, amazing animals. This is on page 81 in your textbook. So yay, new topic for today. So let's, before we start, vocab of the day. How to pronounce this word. It's pretty easy. So let's go, get, go through this quickly. Okay, the first one. Gorilla. Gorilla. Okay. Snail. Snail. Panda. Okay, this one's famous because we have Kung Fu Panda. So this panda. Rhino. Rhino. Heavy. Berat. Heavy. Rhino is the short form for rhinoceros. But to make it sweet, just call it rhino. And panda is just panda. Snail is just snail. And gorilla is gorilla. This one is also famous. King Kong. Okay. Maybe the relatives. Right. So, how much... Do a quiz. How much do you know about animals? Do this quiz and find out. So, you are going to answer this quiz. Okay. You are going to copy this. You don't have to... You don't have to uh, draw this picture. Okay. I'm going to take a lot of your time if you're drawing. So you just write number one and the question which is bigger. A, B, and just circle the correct answer. For example, example. Okay. For example, if you're choosing which is bigger. If you say monkey, you circle monkey. That's just an example, okay? So let's have a look at your quiz for today. Very easy peasy quiz. Okay, which is bigger? A, a gorilla. B, a monkey. This is obvious. Pretty obvious. You can see by the picture here. This one and this one. This one like super huge and this one super cute. So... Which one is bigger? Okay, you choose. Okay, another one. Let's look for the obvious, obvious. Oh, not the obvious, the one that's quite difficult for you. Uh, ah, this one. Good question. Which is faster? A tortoise? Tortoise? Kura kura? Or a snail? Which is faster, a tortoise or a snail? For your info, FYI, I have checked in Google. The speed of a snail is 0 0.001 kmh. Means 0 0.01 km per hour. Maksudnya dia boleh berjalan 0.001 km sejam. In one hour, 0.01 Satu jam 0.001 And for tortoise It's 0.3 Km per hour Maksudnya dalam satu jam 0.3 km Dia boleh jalan So 0.3 So which one is faster? The one who can walk 0.001 km per, per hour Or the one who can walk 0 0.3 km per hour? Which one is faster? Okay, I already give you the answer. So please make a wise choice. It's already been given. Okay, number six. Which is stronger? A rhino or a hippo? A rhino, rhinoceros, 
this one or this one is stronger okay if you see this one have this super duper weapon very sharp and this one is really big and slow this one is quite fast you can see it in jumanji how this one runs really fast have weapons there and this one's pretty slow and have nothing so yeah obvious choice which one is stronger i already give you a few example i hope you know what's the answer okay number four which is heavier the panda or the polar bear so you can look at the picture the bigger they are the heavier they are so which one of these two is bigger so the one who is bigger is the heavier so obvious number three which camel has got more humps the arabian or the bactrian i never heard that before bactrian maybe i have to look at google so which camel has got more humps so i bet this one is the arabian right because always see this in books and google in the desert and the desert mostly in arabian country arab country so i bet this one is the back trian so which camel has got more humps you can see this is it has one and this one two so which one is more one or two mana satu yang ada lebih this arabian or this spectrian it got two and this one got one okay number two which elephant has got smaller ears the african elephant or the asian elephant which elephant has the smaller ear the african or the asian so actually which of these is the asian or the african maybe you can google which one got smaller ear but i think the ASEAN one got smaller ear. It's genetic, right? ASEAN. Sorry. You can look it up in Google. So this one is pretty obvious. So you just answer question number one, two, three, four, five, six. Uh, in your comprehension book, just write down the answer, uh, the question, and also the answer. You don't have to draw the picture. But if you want to, please, yes, you may draw the picture if you want, yeah? If you can't and you don't have time, you have so many class today, just copy the question and the answer. So here we can see from the question here, they are making comparison, okay? Look at these words, bigger, smaller, okay, this one doesn't have heavier faster and stronger all the all these words bigger smaller heavier is the degree of comparison comparison perbandingan ya perbandingan between this and this okay compare between this and this which one is bigger between this and this which one have smaller ears okay between this and this which one have more humps so you use these words with the er to compare okay to compare untuk membandingkan okay for example elephants are bigger than rhinos so we use this word bigger we cannot say elephants are big than rhinos or we cannot say elephant are biggest than rhino we must use the one with the er behind the degree of comparison between one thing or one animal to the other to compare between two two person two animals or thing untuk membandingkan antara dua okay kalau kita banding dua kita kena guna yang ada er di belakangnya it's easy bigger okay, bigger heavier 
stronger. Okay. As you can see, they all are all these are added er at the back. We have this er. Okay. So to compare, is gorilla is a gorilla is bigger than monkey. So when you use this word with the er, it always followed with then bigger than smaller than lebih besar daripada lebih kecil daripada okay so to make you better understand this we are going to refer to your workbook okay we're going to do the exercise in your workbook okay it's later i will talk about this later this one as I said, we must put ER at the back of the word, the degree of comparison. So scary here is Y. So you have to change this Y to ER. So scary becomes scarier. Heavy becomes heavier. Y will change to I E. R. Okay, that is if the words have Y behind. You have to change the Y to I E R to make it a degree of comparison. So, number one. Okay, let's have a look. Okay, rhinos are blank, scary than hippos. Okay, you still remember I said we have to use then okay rhinos are scarier then oh it's already there rhinos are scarier than hippos rhinos adalah lebih menakutkan daripada hippos okay blue whales are heavier than elephants so here this you have to convert to the one with er behind okay to make comparison so small became what fast became and bigger became okay fill in the blanks with the correct answer so this exercise is in your workbook okay for your information the words in brackets are all adjective okay kata sifat so you compare using kata sifat adjective scary heavy small fast big is all adjective so please do this in your workbook on page 68 number one to five but before you do this one complete this crossword here it's very easy all the animals are in your textbook okay if not it's really famous for example this one is hippo so number one okay let's do number one how do you spell hippo h i or h y okay if not sure i'm not sure h i okay so Number one is really easy. Hippo. Okay, number one is hippo. How about number two? What kind of animal is this? Is this a bird, a fly, Superman? No. It's a well. Okay, number two is well. Number three is Kung Fu Wat. Okay, answer it here. So, do this crossword puzzle. Very easy. Complete this also in pa on page 68. This is a rough lion, okay, snail, polar bear, 
Okay, I already give you the answer. So fill in the blanks with the correct answer. And then do exercise two, look and write. Number one, do the crossword. Number two, look and write. And don't forget in your textbook, don't forget to answer the quiz. This one you have to copy in your uh, comprehension, comprehension exercise book. Please do not circle your answer here because this is your textbook. Okay. You cannot write anything on your textbook in your textbook. Okay. Because next year other students will be using this book. So this one copy in your exercise book. So three activity for you today. The first one is answer this quiz. The next uh, two exercise is in your workbook, page 68. So that's all today. Hope you enjoyed the lesson. Bye.